The topic for this lesson is the integrator and the differentiator. First, let's discuss the integrator. An op-app integrator provides an electrical action that, within its DC supply limits, approximates the mathematical process of integration. Mathematicians consider integration as finding the area under a curve. The integrator provides a steady, unchanging electrical output when the input is zero. When a non-zero voltage is applied to the input, the op-amp delivers a constant current to the capacitor, causing a gradual change in its voltage. This change occurs reverse to the polarity of the input, so that a positive input causes the output to decrease, while a negative input causes a rise in the output voltage. As long as the output is not driven to saturation, the integrator responds to non-zero inputs by providing a change in the output voltage. The rate of change is proportional to the magnitude of the input voltage and is expressed as the change in output voltage divided by the change in time, which is also equal to minus the input voltage divided by the time constant, the input resistance times capacitance. Since the input current I sub I, which is the current through resistor R sub I, is constant, so is I sub C, the current through the capacitor. This constant current, I sub C, charges the capacitor linearly and produces a linear voltage across it. The positive side of the capacitor is held at zero volts by the virtual ground of the op-amp. The voltage on the negative side of the capacitor decreases linearly from zero as the capacitor charges. This voltage is termed as a negative ramp. For example, determine the rate of change of the output voltage in response to a single pulse input as shown in this figure. Assume the output voltage to be zero initially and draw the output waveform. The rate of change of the output voltage is given as the change in output voltage divided by the change in time, which is also equal to minus the input voltage divided by the time constant, the input resistance times capacitance, or minus 10 millivolts per microsecond. The rate of change is minus 10 millivolts per microsecond when the input is at plus 6 volts, the output is a negative going ramp. When the input is at zero volts, the output is constant. In 100 microseconds, the voltage decreases. Thus, the negatively sloped ramp arrives at minus six volt at the end of the pulse. The output voltage is constant at minus six volt for the time the input is zero. The resultant waveform is now shown. Let's now discuss the op-amp differentiator. The differentiator circuit provides an electrical action that, within its DC limits, approximates the mathematical process of differentiation. To a mathematician, differentiation involves the rate of change. The differentiator provides an output voltage only during a change in the input voltage. If the input is unchanging, the output voltage is zero. As long as the output is not driven to saturation, the differentiator will provide an output voltage during a change in the input voltage. The output amplitude is proportional to the rate of change of the input, so that a slow input change causes a small value of the output. The polarity of the output occurs in a reverse direction, such that an increasing input will cause a negative output, whereas a decreasing input will cause a positive output. For example, determine the output voltage of the op-amp differentiator for the triangular wave input shown. Beginning at time equals to zero, the input voltage is a positive going ramp ranging from minus six volts to plus six volt, a plus 12 volt change in four microseconds. Then it changes to a negative going ramp ranging from plus six volt to minus six volt, a minus 12 volt change in four microseconds. The time constant is equal to the feedback resistance times the capacitance or 9.9 .9 microseconds. The output voltage rate of change is first calculated by dividing the voltage across the capacitance by the time which equals 10 volts divided by 4 microseconds, or 2.5 volts per microsecond, a positive going ramp. The output voltage is then equal to the rate of change times the time constant, or 2.5 volts per microsecond, times 9.9 .9 microseconds, which equals 24.75 volts. The negative going output voltage ramp is determined similarly. It is equal to the rate of change times the time constant, or 2.5 volts per microsecond, times 9.9 .9 microseconds, which equals 24.75 volts. It is equal to the rate of change times the time constant, or minus 2.5 volts per microsecond, times 9.9 .9 microseconds, which equals minus 24.75 volts.